Hi, everyone. Welcome to Financial Insights. I'm Linda, your accounting coach. Today, I want to talk about inventory management one-on-one. As I stated before, there are um, additional tasks that you have to do when you actually produce a product to sell. And inventory is one of those accounting aspects that people actually have to specialize in and they have to specialize because it's just there's so much additional oversight there's additional terminology you have to know there's probably additional people that you have to hire just to manage your inventory so i want to get i want to talk about four key inventory management keywords that you should know to help you manage your inventory number one FIFO. You'll hear you'll hear this term a lot. FIFO. FIFO. It is a inventory method. It is first in, first out. So you won't hear this word anywhere else except in the accounting business world. Once again, it's an inventory method. First in, first out. Basically, you sell the oldest product that you produce. So we. So I use the example of milk. So you know, with milk, you want the milk that's going to expire soon to sell. So just with your product, you want to sell the oldest product. Most businesses use the FIFO method. If you are a business and you do not have an account, use any other inventory method. Use FIFO. And FIFO is first in, first out. Basically, all it is, you're selling the oldest product first. Second term that you need to understand is materials, or some people may say raw materials. There's different types of materials. There's direct materials and then there's indirect materials. So, for instance, if you make jewelry, your direct material could could be the beads, could be the material for the earrings. So that is direct material, the material that actually goes into the product. Indirect material could be so, for instance, if you make clothing and your sewing machine needs, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure, some type of um, device. So that device would be a indirect material because you need that equipment to work in order to pr- produce your product. So make sure you understand that there's direct and indirect. And as you get larger and as you um, hire, you know, probably a full-time accountant, they will start to break out these items saying, okay, here's your direct materials. Here's your indirect materials because you want to know where your money is being spent. Lastly, understanding cost of goods sold. This is a term that many, many people get confused on. And I always explain it. Basically, it's just the material, the labor, whatever you put in to make your product. So there's many business, particularly many small businesses, when you look at their profit and loss statement, they do not have a cost of goods sold because they've actually included it with the other expenses. If you're a product base, once again, if you're product base, you produce a product, you need to have a cost of goods sold. So for instance, going back to if you may, you will have a cost of goods sold. So all the materials that you purchase to make the end rings, to make the rings, to make the jewelry, the bracelets, all of that will go into cost of goods sold because you want to know if you're making a profit. So once again, if you're selling the product, that's going to be in your revenue line. The cost of goods sold is going to be in a separate line. So if you're, or your cost of goods sold, if you're spending ten dollars to make a bracelet and you're only selling it for five you're losing money so that's why you break out cost of goods sold because you want to know how much you're putting in and then how much you're getting in return so hopefully this is helpful once again inventory management um it seems like it always comes with additional tasks but take it day by day um i challenge you to look at your inventory report and see what you're spending in cost of goods sold. And you may realize there's there's some things that, wow, you realize, man, I didn't realize I was spending so much or possibly so little. But take a look at your cost of goods sold and see where you're spending your money and see if 
some efficiencies there, some savings, something you can do not to make your product better, but then also um, increase your gross profit. Once again, thank you for joining us. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.